stories? So yeah, I'd like to uh, share a story, um, just a quick one, uh, to kind of give um, a perspective of what I've gone through. I feel that it might be uh, something that's just a little unique. Uh, it was uh, about 12 years ago. Uh, I woke up. It was a normal morning. Uh, I leaned over. I kissed my wife. Um, I went upstairs and I kissed my kids. And I got ready for work and uh, was ready to go through my day, um, just like I had done the, the every day before that. I was kind of on a down cycle and. I knew that I was on a down cycle. Um, I wasn't aware um, at the particular time um, of even the word bipolar disorder. And so uh, after kissing the family, I went out back and I grabbed my dog and threw my dog in the back seat. And uh, we went for our normal day-to-day -day tasks, um, checking on job sites, um, checking on employees. Uh, it was about two and a half hours after that um, I found myself driving up uh, a canyon that I'd been up hundreds of times before. Uh, it was a place for me to unplug. I made it to the top of the canyon and I uh, let my dog out and she's running around and I'm sitting in the front seat of my truck listening to music and just feeling this overwhelming sense of despair, um, feeling no self-worth, feeling that, um, that I didn't belong and that I didn't have a purpose in life. Uh, as I'm watching my dog and, and watching how happy she was and comparing what I thought was going through her mind compared to what was going through my mind, uh, I had a moment of, uh, of, of weakness. So in a brief moment of irrational thinking, I reached over into the center console of my truck and I grabbed my pistol and uh, I loaded it. and I put it to my head and I pulled the trigger. And all I got out of the deal was a click. So as I, uh, as I sat there thinking to myself that how in the, how in the world could I screw this up? Um, I was done with life and I didn't want to be here anymore. Uh, so I unchambered the bullet thinking that I had screwed this up and the bullet flipped out and landed in my lap and I, uh, I took the bullet, I picked it up, and I looked at it, I examined it, and I flipped it over, and I could look and, uh, at the back of the bullet, and I could see where the firing pin had actually hit the back of the bullet. So, uh, being where I live, um, you know, I've hunted a lot, um, and I've, I've had some good experience with guns, and out of every single time that I've ever shot um, a gun, I've never had a misfire. And this was, uh, it was a very unique moment for me because out of all those times that there wasn't a misfire, um, the time that I had the gun to my head that it should have went off, it didn't. There are defining moments in people's lives that give you a sense of purpose and give you the, the motivation to be better. And for me, that was one of those moments. I understood that um, for the first time in my life, I quit and I was never gonna quit again. And so through that process, uh, I did a lot of research. I talked to uh, a lot of doctors and went through uh, the testing to find out why I, why I was like I was. Uh, and that's pretty much where I, where I realized that the, the mental illness, the bipolar disorder played a huge part of my life. 
I don't consider it a disorder. I don't consider it an illness. I consider it a blessing um, because without, without having the mental blessing, I would not be sitting here in front of this camera. I wouldn't have the story to tell. So uh, what I've realized is that my purpose now is um, to build the legacy um, and if I can just if I can just change one person just one from going up the canyon and and losing hope then I feel that uh, I feel that my work would be done if I can just save one I don't need to save the world. I want to save the world. It's the each, indivi the each individual person that, um, that I want to change and I want to help and I want to end the stigma of, of what the disorder is about. Um, I'm just as normal as everybody else other than I'm wired up here just a little different. So, yeah, it's my story.